So everybody, I'm alive. Just because uh, I haven't posted in a while doesn't mean anything happened to me. I've been just really busy because of work and other things. But what I want to talk about is Diablo Immortal. I don't know if Blizzard is fully default or the parent company and its shareholders. I honestly think it's a bad idea to work with a Chinese company. I'm pretty sure it is a Chinese company. To develop a game that they already made a game that's similar to your game and you're working with them to make your game that doesn't sound really smart to me and especially when I heard that you got most of your very experienced developers working on the mobile device to transport those games onto that you know I honestly want to say that Blizzard, I think you really came out of touch and you really don't know your fan base anymore. Because what happened last year compared to now is pretty much different. And I have a feeling it, part of that is because the actual original CEO eventually stopped, you know, stepped down. Because there's no way the way that you guys are acting is what Blizzard used to be. It's basically like a different version of Activision. And I do remember playing Diablo back in the day and I enjoyed it. I played Diablo 2 and I enjoyed it a lot more. And when Diablo 3 came out, I didn't watch any trailers, I didn't do any of that jazz. And after I think it was a week or so, I started to realize that the game is really dumbed down. And just because, you know, the ruins would unlock at a certain point, it would do different things to your abilities. And then I realized that's not really, like, the spec tree that the original game or the second game originally had, where you can make every character unique. So, I don't know if it's... You wanted to try to please as many people as possible with Diablo 3... And I kind of wonder now what the original Diablo 3 would have been like, considered, uh, considering the, the game that we got. The, the look, maybe the art style in general, maybe the mechanics, everything would have been probably maybe different. And I would have liked to see what the original Blizzard North game would have been. Like, I don't like the new version very much. Is it a terrible game? No, not really. But it's not very rememberable. So the thing is, is like, why would you think this is a great idea? And I do remember them saying that in a different interview that a lot of them, ha like actual people at Blizzard, said they were shifting from actually, you know, playing from like PCs and stuff and playing tablets. But at the same time, a guy like me, I don't really use my cell phone for actual gaming. I have a computer and a console. So why would I need a phone that does that? That's the point I'm trying to come across here. Like, I don't know if you guys are stupid or because of the like Activision doing this to you guys. And I'm going to tell you this right now. If you are listening to Activision and their shareholders, then you're going to doom your company. Because from what I've seen with the stocks and the booing that you got during the <laughs> Diablo conference, you're not listening to your fans. Especially your fans, because we go to work to earn money to pay for you know to you know to live right in this modern society, and when we have extra money, we want to buy stuff that we can enjoy. And paying where I live for a new game is seventy nine dollars now. So paying $79, then plus then you try to add all those microtransactions because you don't want to release a full game, the consumers are going to get pissed off at some point. They are. No matter what you do, you're going to make them mad. Unless you, div you know, make a fucking good game. If you make a good game, like look at God of War. How well did God of War do? Seriously. You got the full experience of the game. And there was a lot of side content. You paid, I paid $79. And I enjoyed that game. I even platinum it. 
the Valkyrie Queen was the hardest trophy to unlock, but I eventually did it. Um, Spider-Man, same thing. Great fucking game. It, 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 sure, there's DLC, but I'm going to wait until like maybe there's a package deal where I can pay 10 bucks and I get all of the DLC that they release instead because I'm not... I'm not one of those people that are going to rush out and buy it right away. No, 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 no. I'm going to wait until I can get a good deal. Then I buy it. And then you look at Red Dead Redemption. Another single player game right now. Sure, no online. And it did fucking amazing sales too. So what I'm saying is. If you put the consumer satisfaction first, I guarantee you, you will make a good fucking game. If you keep throwing out these shell games because Activision is telling you, Blizzard, your company is going to fall one day. Right now, it's on that slow decline until somehow you launch your fucking game and you can get into the Chinese market because that's what you guys were trying to do. I, I remember watching an interview, you guys talked about that. Um, to satisfy more customers so you can make those stocks go slightly back up considering it's been going downhill since then of the booing. The, you know... And the other thing that I just noted, I remember seeing too, is that there was a couple of websites that are game journalists that have already been giving Diablo Immortal, like, awards. And I don't know if this is true or this is false. I, I don't know. But if this is true, that's pretty fucking pathetic, to be completely honest. Because I do remember one of them seeing is seen as a PC gamer. So, PC Gamer is doing a review for a game that's on mobile. Good job. Good fucking job on that one. That's, that's, that, if it's a joke, okay, whatever, I'm gonna let it slide. But if that's true, oh my god, that is dumb. Oh, you are really getting out of touch. And I, I don't know if it's Blizzard fully itself. Like, I don't know if it's fully Blizzard. I really hope that it's not fully Blizzard that's doing this. And it's just its fucking parent company listening to its shareholders. Like, I really hope, really hope that you guys stop being retarded. Like, I am I normally don't like to say retarded, but my god. Like, okay, for me, if I did buy tickets for BlizzCon, how much money is a ticket? And then eventually I gotta buy a fucking airplane ticket. And then I have to buy, a, pay for a hotel for a week or whatever. And plus food if it's not included. And then all the other expenses. Now are you starting to see why people are getting fucking mad? And why you got fucking booed? For a guy like me to spend my hard-earned money to go there and to see a reveal of a fucking mobile game that you could have, you know, fucking just put it on your channel saying, hey guys, we've got a fucking mobile game. You know how fucking less of backlash you would have right now? Fucking way less. <sighs> so, my, my closing thing I want to say is... Blizzard, if you are listening to your fucking parent company, tell them to go fuck themselves and their shareholders. Because if you make the consumer mad and you try to milk them, you're not going to win. You're not. Because there, there was like one thing that uh, like Activision was saying why Destiny 2 is failing. Because it doesn't have enough microtransactions. No, they, you just didn't make a good game. It's just a reskin of the first game. Why don't you just do the first game and just keep adding content or make it better or patch certain things up? I guarantee you, if you just made the first game better, you wouldn't have to make a second. And I don't know if they're going to make a third. If they make a third, that's pretty actually sad. But I'm just saying, just don't go down that route. What happened to the blizzard we knew? I don't know. I just don't know.